Johnson leads with the right. Baker counters with the solid left to the head. Johnson with another right. And there's a hard right from Baker. Now they're in the clinch. The referee separates them. Now they're in the center of the ring. Johnson leads with the right. Not the right, Johnson. Not the right. I use your left. Use your left. Johnson leads with his left. And Johnson is down. One, two, three, uh, sorry. four, five, six. Is the fight over, John? Yeah, it's over, but there's going to be another in a minute. Darn right there is, if you don't keep this thing shut off. Ever since you bought this set last week, you've done nothing but sit there and stare at it. Mom and I are sick and tired of looking at those horrible wrestlers. Well, some of them wrestlers are easier to look at than your mama. You leave mama out of this. George, you still haven't told me where you got the money to buy this set. Oh, well, it was just a windfall, one of them lucky things. The wind was falling, and I happened to be there. I uh, we got in the feeding compartment of the refrigerator. I. <laughs> and that's another thing about that set. You sit there and watch the commercials and get hungry. Well, honey, it's just a matter of etiquette. Man come into your living room, chewing on a hamburger or something. That ain't polite to let him eat alone. Oh, uh, where's that uh, piece of chicken we had left over from supper? Mama ate it. Oh, I thought old famine fighter was going out to dinner. She is. She's getting dressed right now. She's going formal. Oh, and evening gown, huh? Well, every time she get into that thing, she look like a dozen cannonballs in a chiffon bag. George? Oh, oh, Mama, darling. Oh, Mama, you're getting more beautiful every day. George Stevens, where is my diamond and ruby pin? Mm, just like a vision out of a dream. George Stevens, where is that pin? You took it over a week ago to get the class fixed. Yeah, that been a week? Yeah. Just about the time you came home with that new television set. Well, now, ain't that a peculiar coincidence? Very peculiar. George Stevens, what have you done with that pin? My sister gave that pin to me. Them diamonds and rubies are real, and it's worth over $200. And if anything... Oh, Mama D, nothing gonna happen to the pin. Now, you see, that class had uh, Swiss movement, and they had to send a Switzerland to get the parts. Well, the parts man over there will, uh, he bought it out climbing the motor horn or something like that. We'll have to wait a little while. I don't want no funny excuses. I want that pin, and I want it quick. I didn't just give the kingfish to my name, Amos. Uh, he gave me this pin as collateral until he paid back the 100 bucks. Oh. Andy, now you're getting smart. Yeah, I wise up to that kingfish. But you better get this money back to me before I go on my vacation. Because I'm going where I can really relax. Yeah, I guess that waiter job over at the Sultan Cafe is pretty tiring. Yeah. Well, I better get on down and get my supper. There's one thing about this job, they really give you good food. Yeah, well, I'll see you, Andy. And don't give the kingfish that pin till you get your money back. Don't worry, I won't. Uh, so long, son. And if I don't get the money by tomorrow, I'm hocking the pin. Now, Andy, don't go off half cooked. You heard me. I'm going on a vacation. And it don't matter to me whether I get the money from you or from the hock shop. Well, Andy, I'll uh, see what I can do. But don't make a move till you hear from me. Here's your coffee, Poon Jab. Thanks. Uh, who Poon Jab? Well, that's me. You see, all the waiters here yeah, at the Southern Cafe has got Southern type names. I'm the Poon Jab of Jabba Bull. They call me that because it's my job to pull the Jabba. <laughs> well, you can't lend me the money then, huh, Calhoun? No, Kingfish, I'm sorry. You see, I just quit my job at the Plaza Ritz Hotel. Oh, you done pretty well over there, huh? Yeah. Monday, I got 50 tips. Tuesday, I got 80 tips. Wednesday, I got 120 tips. Yeah, then I guess you are loaded. Oh, man, yeah. With tips. You see, they was having the asparagus growers convention over there. <laughs> that ain't funny, John man, in my financial condition. If I don't get that money for Andy, he gonna put Mama's precious pin into the pawn shop. Old crocodile will be nipping at my with us. He's about to done better at the hotel. I can help you. Uh, being kind of slow over there, huh? Slow? <laughs> It's so quiet in the lobby that the house detective keeps in practice by shadowing the party palm. I heard the manager say he was thinking about hiring a press agent to give the hotel some publicity. You know, boom up the business. Mmm, a press agent, uh, that'd be pretty good. 
With the spent account and the salary and all, a uh, man probably could pick up a hundred bucks uh, right fast. Mm -hmm. uh, what's his name? Uh, name, Simpson. Mm. Well, I guess I'll go over there and see Mr. Simpson, see can I make a deal to public hate up the place. But, Kingfish, you don't know nothing about being no press agent. Oh, Calhoun, there's nothing to it. All you gotta do is uh, call up a few columnists, plant a flash, and dig up a little scoop. Yeah, but you don't know no columnists. Calhoun, I done thought of that. Now, you wait right here and give me a few minutes to get over to Mr. Uh, Simpson's office, and then you call me up over there every two or three minutes. Oh, I'm getting you all around, can you? <laughs> we need publicity badly. Have you got good newspaper connections? Oh, I got connection with all the top columnists in the world. Uh, by the way, uh, there been any calls for me? No. <laughs> Hello? Stevens? Yes, he's right here. It's for you. <laughs> Oh, uh, hello? Hello? It's me. Oh, hello, W.W. Did you give them initials? W.W. Walter Winchell. Oh, now where have I go? Okay. I'd like to give you that hot item, but I don't promise it to uh, Ed Sullivan. <laughs> but just as soon as you know who goes out with that uh, movie star, I'll give you the tip. Okay, W.W., give my regard to Mr. and Mrs. North America and all the ships at sea. <laughs> oh, that's just a little secret code we got. Well, goodbye, W.W. Now, where was we, uh, Mr. Simpson? Was that Walter Winchell? Oh, Mr. Simpson, a good press agent, never give away any of the tricks of the trade. Well, our problem is... <laughs> Stevens? Right here. Hello? Hello? This me again. Oh, put on. Hello, our famous lady Hollywood columnist. She don't like for me to mention her name. Yeah, I was picking a jingle from Carrie, but I guess I missed the call because uh, I had with Kalula at Clark's party. Oh, uh, you're leaving town. Oh, well, then, uh, when I super chiefs out to the coast, I'll see ya. <laughs> well, don't take no wooden scoops. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Later. Now, Mr. Simpson, uh, what was we saying? Uh, well, Stevens, I think we can work out a deal. It... I know, it's for me. <laughs> Hello? Guess who? Oh, uh, uh, look in, I got a flash for you, but, uh, have to give it to you later. And tell all of the news hawks and news hens, I'm busy and don't call me no more. Uh, by the way, the Punjab of Javapo called. He said he wants his money. Oh, look here, uh, that angle can be taken care of too. <laughs> well, now, Mr. Simpson, I'm about to deal. Uh, I can give you a flat introductory fee uh, for my service as a press agent for a hundred dollars. And that include publicity, notoriety, and handbill. Our hotel needs just one kind of publicity. We need some important people to stay here. That'll get us in the papers and attract business to our establishment. Look at the publicity the Waldorf gets. They have the Raja of Pakistan staying there. Well, old Raj. Well, now, if I had a know that sooner, I could have got him to stay here. Well, do you know anyone else like that? Mm, Raja. A uh, thought just hit me. Mr. Simpson, how would you like to have as a guest in your hotel the Punjab of Javapur? Name is familiar. Is he an oriental potentate? Why, he's the most potent potentate they got over there. You can arrange that. You've got a date. Just as easy as even shish kebab. Now, how about the other dog? You produce the Punjab, and you'll get the money. Well, in the vernacular of the press agent, there's good news tonight. <laughs> well, Goodbye, Mr. Timmons. Goodbye, Mr. Davis. Uh, sounds good, all right. Uh, but why is the hotel doing all this for me just because I was walking in in this outfit? Well, I tell you, Andy, the hotel wants to impress their guests with the fact that they cater to the royal clientele. And they use you for atmosphere, just like they used you over at the Sultan Cafe. Oh. Yeah, and Andy, if you didn't wear that Punjab outfit, the people in the restaurant wouldn't think that they were getting the real East Indian shish kebab. Yeah, but...
but the people living at the hotel are going to know I ain't no Punjab the minute I open my mouth. I don't talk none of that Punjab talk. Andy, you don't have to open your mouth. I do the interpreting for you. In fact, we make you look pretty good. We're going to buy some of that cartoon jewelry from the dime store, and you can pass it out for tips. And the gal that works in the hotel, I like that. Yeah, it ain't gonna cost me a single cent. Now I get my hundred bucks back beside. Positively, Andy, positively. Now you can uh, just give me Mama's pen and I'll take care of everything. No, Kingfish, I think I'll just keep the pen until I get the vacation and my hundred bucks back. Well, okay, Andy, go on home, put on this outfit, and we'll pick you up in an hour. Okay, Kingfish, see you later. Yeah, so long, Andy. Hello? Uh, Mr. Timpton, please. Oh, Mr. Timpton? Well, this is your favorite press agent, George Stevens. Well, warm up the royal suite. The Punjabba Java Poe is moving in. <laughs> Boy, take these up to the royal suite. Make sure there's plenty of ice water and see that the incense is burning. The Punjab should be here in a minute. Yes, sir. to having them down in your country. 
Oh. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Oh, hi, Mabel. Here's a Punjab's latest order from the haberdashery. Four more sport coats. What do you think of this guy? Buying everything in the hotel. And he can't even talk English. Yeah. He must be loaded. Yeah. I hear this room is costing him $75 a day. And all that food he's been ordering. I wouldn't like to get the bill for that. Well, I gotta go. I've got a 3 o'clock appointment. See you later. Okay, bye. Well, Mr. Simpson said he would meet me here at 3 o'clock. Oh, but I'm sorry. Mr. Simpson phoned and said he'd be detained. Hmm. Well, Mama will be here. I'll tell you, couldn't you just give me the money? Oh, I'm so sorry, but I have nothing to do with that. Hmm. Oh, uh, you mind if I use the phone? Help yourself. Oh, uh, give me the royal suite, please. Hello. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm in Unga Dunga. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, Punjab. Andy, this is me. Uh, look, I on a spot here. I got to have that pin, because Mama will be here any minute now. Uh, you got the money, Kingfish? Well, it's coming up, and I'll give it to you just as soon as I get it. Nothing doing. And another thing, I heard the bellboy say this room is costing $75 a day, and they're going to charge me for the food and everything. I thought I was getting all this stuff free for being the atmosphere. <laughs> well, that's uh, just the hotel, just the way of letting you know the extension of their hospitality. Well, that better be right. It is. Uh, now, how about the pen? You ain't getting the pen till I get my money. And that's my last royal word on the royal subject. Ah, uh, hello, hello, hello. for this bill. Are you, huh? Yes. You brought him in here. You even signed the register for it. Well, uh, I just on my way to the bank now. I'm going to uh, have some of the Punjab's uh, rupees transferred into pound sterling. I'll be right back. <laughs> I thought you were going to the bank. I just happen to remember. I got to go by the travel bureau to see about some traveling. You know, the Punjab's uh, return, you know. The traveling bureau is closed. Oh, well, then, I guess I'll go on down to the hotel drugstore. <laughs> oh, uh, hello, Mama. I'm just looking for you. Where is my pin? Now, Mama, keep your voice down to a war cry. I'm going upstairs now and get the pin from the council, and I'll be right down. And I'll be waiting right here. And don't try sneaking out like you did just now, cause Sapphire's watching the back door. Oh, well, I'll get the pin somehow. <laughs> well, hello, Andy, old Punjab. Now, don't give me that soft soap treatment, Kingfish. No money, no pin. I didn't mention the pin, did I? Where is it? Here. Well, see. Oh, well, Andy, I brought a little present for you. What is it? Well, it's a bottle of that there uh, imported, uh, super fragrant, for the royal family only bath salt, presented to you with the admiration of the manager. That's it. Mmm, smell pretty good. I'll try them later. Oh, no, Andy, you got to get in the tub right now, cause the manager's waiting down there to see how you like it. And if he do, why, he liable to order you a couple of cases, free of charge. Well, all right. Well, come on, Andy. Uh, don't keep the man waiting. Yeah, come on, right. son. Now, Andy, you can move faster than that. Oh, come on, son. Oh, 
Well, get right on in there. Yeah, now get on in there, Annie, and pass your clothes out to me, and I'll get your pantaloons pressed while you're sorting yourself in the tub. Nothing but cheap costume jewelry, huh? Yeah, he's been tipping everyone in the hotel with that cheap junk. <laughs> Miss Weaver, bring me the Punjab's bill. Yeah. Oh, uh, is this all, Amy? Yeah. Well, take your time in the tub in there. Okay. Somebody just charged a bottle of bath salt. Hmm, a bill. Uh, I wonder what that word is in the coon jazz native tongue. Uh, I just go to the library and look it up in that cute near American dictionary. Uh, hold on, English. <laughs> well, uh, he certainly picked up the English language fast, didn't he, Mr. Silver? No, he is a phony, huh? Do you two know what the penalty is for defrauding an innkeeper? I ain't defrauding nobody, Mr. Simpson. This was all the Kingfish's idea. Now I'll tell you what happened. And that's how it was, Mr. Simpson. I thought you would let me have all this stuff free because I was providing the atmosphere with the Punjab outfit like I does at the Sultan Cafe. Obviously, you were taken in just as I was. And I thought I was getting some good publicity out of this. Well, it was good publicity up until now. I don't let it go sour on you. What do you mean? Well, when the uh, Punjab checked in here, everybody thought it was the real thing. Now that they find out he's a phony, you're gonna be the laughing stock of the whole innkeeper crowd. <laughs> that sort of thing to do is let him check out just like he checked in and disappear into the wilds of Javapur. That's probably the only thing we can do. Well, what about the bill? I'll see that it's taken care of. Run. Take this up to 324. Lord, my little Simpson, how much longer I got to go on hopping bills? Oh, about two more weeks, and the Punjab's bill will be paid up. Hey, Kingfish. Oh, uh, hello, Amy. Uh, when are I going to get my hundred bucks now? I'll let you have the pen so you can get out of trouble with Sapphire's mama. Well, Andy, you ain't got nothing to worry about. I give you some good collateral to take the place of the pin. Are you taking good care of it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Tucko. <laughs> oh, boy, hold it. Hold it. Yeah, me and Tusco is real pals. In fact, he got me a better job at the Southern Cafe. I'm the advertising manager now. The advertising manager? Yeah. Look at here. Yeah, see that? All right, come on, let's go. Come on. 